pretty much my own show. Not always having to do things independently myself. Welcome back to my YouTube. We are currently on the road. I've got Lance in the back. I've got Shan in the back. I got Jay in the front. And we are off to an International Women's Day event where I'm speaking at. It's International Women's Day today. And it's very exciting. I actually feel kind of nervous because I haven't done a speaking event like this outside my own companies in a good hot minute where I've actually had to prepare a speech and prepare what I'm saying and practice. I actually just practiced with the girls in the car and we made some notes and we timed it and it's a whole big thing. So I feel really nervous, but I love that because it means I'm doing something outside of my comfort zone and I care about it. So I'm changing the I feel anxious and nervous to I'm excited and this is a really cool opportunity. So we are off to do that. It is in the Sunshine Coast, so it's a long drive. Wait, before I get into the YouTube, of course I do wanna say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You guys know they are a frequent, frequent sponsor on my show, on my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the Georgia Show. <laughs> it's pretty much my own show so <laughs> it's fine <laughs> and basically if you guys don't know they are a platform where you can host your website you can get your domain and you can get a little spot in on the internet in the internet just for you so you guys know I'm such an advocate for especially if you're on social media to have a place that's outside social media because we don't control those algorithms um, and it's also good because you have a spot where you can collect emails, you can put exactly what you wanna put, you can have all your little sections, you can have a, a blog, you can have a shop, you can have an about me, and it just gives you know your audience just that little bit more, even if you're someone who doesn't sell anything yet. Um, I just think it's such a huge asset to your brand, to your personal brand. Um, and of course, guys, like I always say, if I can use the technology, if I can use it as a non-tech gal, you can use it. Squarespace just make it so easy. I'll put a little video here of my very first website with Squarespace. She's very cute. I controlled the whole thing. So she's very user friendly. And of course, because they are sponsoring this video, I do have a code for you. I will chuck it on the screen and I will put a link in the show notes. <laughs> description box. <laughs> in the description box. platform are we on, honestly? You do. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get Lani to record my speech because I'm really proud of it. I've been working... I've been working on it and it does encompass the theme of International Women's Day this year which is inspire inclusion and I've kind of gone a little bit left field but when don't I and I've made it more about this acceptance piece because I truly believe that we cannot accept and include others until we accept and have that for ourselves first because we all know everything is just a reflection. It's a mirror for your inner world. So do the inner work first and it will be reflected on the outer world. And imagine if like all of us did that work, how much more inclusive we would be. So that's kind of the angle I went with my speech. Very proud of it. I'll definitely get Lani to do some snippets. But ladies, should we just quickly go around the circle and just say a little hello who am i and how we inspire inclusion because i think it's a really important topic to chat about absolutely jacinta starting with me yeah. <laughs> okay i guess how i inspire inclusion in my everyday life is like shan was talking about before i guess educating the men in my life to be our allies mm. um, i have some amazing powerful men in my life and yeah really just working with them to understand um, a, a female's perspective. I love that, it's so important. Mm. Hi, um, so I'm Sham, I'm the Director of Marketing at MH. Um, 
Um, I inspire inclusion because I'm very involved in the e-commerce industry and I love that it gives me the opportunity to be able to mentor or create opportunity or support women um, who are earlier in their e-com or in their career journey and I find that so wonderful. And you, you're like literally the most supportive person I've ever met Shen, right. especially you know in people's career. Yeah and I think it's one of the things that like I love and I'm obsessed with and one thing and this I guess we all actually have to do with this naked harvest I've never seen a company that's more empowered by the voices of women and every decision we make is based on community so what a great opportunity to amplify and inspire inclusion just by being a part of the we love that I would have loved that no I don't really know what to say now I can like think of so many things that you do Lonnie I'm so obsessed with you oh my god shit you are Please give Check. me so the fact that you work full time and then you have your podcast and then you also have your personal Instagram and then you have your other Instagram that's like literally providing purpose and direction for people's lives in like for women for, for women but also women of your age like that in itself you're like you're providing a resource that people need in such an approachable way yeah. and also you're such an approachable female like you want everyone to win yeah. there's no you know like competition there's no cattiness like you as a person encompasses oh. yeah. inclusion we've just done it for us what? <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your catch what's one of your catchphrases my catchphrase because like when I hear this I think of you so what is the one thing that you say all the time it's like exactly <laughs> membership card on everyone's seat just because in my talk I do chat about a certain meditation to release and forgive so I wanted to make sure they actually had them and I wasn't just harping on about it um but yeah we're here I practiced my speech twice the first was a bit of a shit show to be honest but then the second we got there we got there I feel very excited and yeah it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be a fun day it's gonna be good do you want to tell us why you're speaking at this event and kind of how that came about. So I got asked to do this event and I really took it as a sign from the universe because I feel like my next season is really stepping into doing more things like this, more speaking, you know, arrangements, more spreading my message. And it also, I love it because it feels really uncomfortable for me. And I think I was very comfortable there for a while. And, you know, we just launched the Rise um, and I really would love to step in that space where I am speaking on those topics and I am like, you know, the go-to gal and I even think like the future I'd love to write a book and that would include, you know, speaking gigs and stuff like that. So I don't know, it just felt right. It feels really exciting. And I think also like today I'm talking about everything that we embody in Nathan Harvest and Rise and Conquer. And I feel like it's time to, you know, step out and share it with the world. And sometimes I do get a little bit stuck in my worlds. So it feels really good to try something different and to share that message. Um, G, you just dropped a bomb about that book. What would you even write a book about? I just want to confirm, I don't have a book deal. There's no one in the works. I haven't started. I'm just putting it out into the universe. Um, well, you know, it would be about me being a female entrepreneur and Tim being a boxer and 
<laughs> it would be a romance novel. <laughs> it would be fantasy schmuck. <laughs> Fantasy and there would be a lot of schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> I joke, I joke. <laughs> no, I think, you know, just talking about my journey, obviously, my manifesting is like such a huge part of my life. Um, and I think also a huge part of my life, it's even what I'm talking about today of being able to move through seasons and move through identities and pivoting and no. it would be good. Yeah. It'd be really good, but I'll keep you guys updated. But I literally haven't told anyone, so. I know. I This is the first time hearing of this book phase, so we're onto something. <laughs> Shan, tell us why you're here today. So I'm here today to, well, be here and support the team, you know, um, but also I love coming to anything that is you know, female-founded or anything that's female events. Hi, I'm Tara from Self Events Co. Um, welcome to International Women's Day. I started Self almost two years ago because I moved back to the coast and just craved a community of like-minded women and I've just been blown away by the incredible women that live here on the Sunshine Coast doing amazing things and so this is the second year that we've brought everyone together for International Women's Day and I'm so excited to have Georgie here. So how come you chose Georgie to be your guest speaker for the day? I have in mind Georgie for a long time and Part of self, to be honest, is about kind of dreaming big and going after your big goals. And for me, having Georgia here, she was such an inspiration. Um, was kind of like a vision board kind of moment, and that's coming true today. So I'm really grateful that she's here. do all the things. I want you to put your hand up if you have ever judged another woman for lying. Oh, we're being very honest, I love this. I thought it would take a little bit, but this is great. And so this was a huge moment for me because I had to stop caring what others think and I also just started leaning into what do I actually want to do? It was an amazing journey because it was for the first time me doing something just because I really loved it and I had a lot of like fun with it and it blossomed into a career and so much more. And so I did this belief work and I decided my new belief was going to be around it doesn't matter about the quantity of time I you know, have with my daughter, it's about the quality. But truly, if we want to inspire inclusion, we want to accept others, we have to start with ourselves. Girls are already into it. Guys, I I honestly just feel I feel like I'm on a bit of a high from that. That was it just really felt like I was doing something that meant a lot to me and was like 
in line with like who I want to be in the future and I don't know it was incredible I was I was actually guys I was so nervous yeah but you did yeah amazing. we started the scene shaky hands I had shaky hands and I am someone who loves to public speak I think it's just like I really cared about the message and I really wanted people to like have a good experience and have the takeaways and I just like wanted it to be really good um, so I was really nervous but it all came together I remembered all my points I didn't really stuff up too much <laughs> had some moments but it was fine and it was really good because like I kind of spoke first and then I just got to enjoy the event so we had like lunch after and yeah it was so beautiful um it's such a good energy when you're in a room full of people of like-minded people who want to be there and are inspiring and I got to speak to a lot of people after and I just feel really like filled up like I feel really filled up and yeah I'm so glad I did it because it, it, it felt like a challenge and yeah I'm really proud of myself what did you guys think it was amazing as you said the, the room of like-minded women was just like electric like everyone mm. was very inspiring there was lots of interesting um, stories so loved yes. it and you killed it you absolutely killed it thanks yeah. Jay Appreciate the vibe that. was just so I don't know everyone just felt so aligned mm. and everyone was so lovely and so beautiful and I feel like we just got along really well and yeah I feel like so fulfilled uplifted inspired ready for a beautiful weekend the vibe was vibing the vibe was vibing the girls were girling the girls were girling! Oh, we got a rainbow. We've got a rainbow. Can you see it? Nah. So we're on the way home. We've got how long? An hour 15. Lani's doing her, well, my post. Lani's editing, doing me post. We're gonna smack that up. Um, and then we're all gonna have the best weekend ever. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I'm literally just looking after Ivy and reading my book. But perfect. Tim is away on a boys weekend so I've just got a girls weekend with Ivy and I want to finish my book and just relax. I'm getting a massage. Sounds perfect. Sounds pretty perfect. But guys, thank you so much for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some fun little sneak peeks and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.